yes, next gen is here. Yes, it is officially here. We all know and seen and read about the main issue with the PlayStation 4. We all know that. But now here we are presented with the Xbox One and yet it has all these issues. Yes, more than one. So in this video, I'm gonna show you a video I've come across It's like a confirmation of people who purchased the Xbox One and they are experiencing the same main issue that people are concerned about with the Xbox One. Also, I'm gonna show you an article talking about the different side issues that the system is having. And then afterwards, I'm gonna give you my thoughts and concerns about the whole uh, matter of the situation, but it's hella crazy. So uh, here we go, let's check out this right here. Just listen to that rattling. It's crazy, man. Already. Come on, baby. Such a sad day. All right, enough of that. Now, upon that, people have been experiencing uh, crashing and rebooting, according to this article. It says another has issues with his headset outputting and he gets nothing but static. And others have seen the E100 notification indicating a total hardware failure caused by an update error. Then also we see that it says other new Xbox One owners have reported numerous issues to the Xbox support message system, including concerning issues with disk drives, unusual sounds coming from the machine, more spontaneous system shutdown, missing pixels, and blank or frozen screens. And others can't even get their systems to start in the first place. And then right here is yet another video that shows the issue. Um, but okay, this is the thing, all right? This issue has caused even more, even more static between the X, the Microsoft fanboys and the Sony fanboys. You know, if it's not a, if if they're not fighting about graphics, they're fighting about exclusives. If they're not fighting about exclusives, now they're fighting about hardware performance. And the thing is, and I've been reading this, the Microsoft fanboys have been pointing the fingers and laughing at the Sony fanboys saying, ha ha, your PS4 isn't working, etc. Yada yada, it croaked, you got a brick. Now the same thing has happened with the Xbox One, and now the Sony fans are pointing the finger right back at the uh, Microsoft fans. I mean, it's, it's hella crazy, but this is the thing. True enough, some people are saying, oh well, just get the warranty. Get the warranty, it's all cool if you get the warranty. This is the thing, regardless, I mean, the fact of the matter remains, your system should work. You work hard for, well, some of you work for, for the money. You know, you get the money, you purchase the system. You expect it to do what it should do, especially out of the box at that. You know, you shouldn't have to just get the system and go through all these issues and problems and have to call 1-800-4-MY-XBOX or 1-800-123-SONY, whatever the hell the number is, and be on the phone for at least 45 minutes to an hour. But some retailers, you know, you can get the warranty from the store and they'll swap it out right then and there. Some that's not the case. You actually have to call the, the actual company, you know, Sony or Microsoft. And it's a damn shame. Now, some people are saying, you know, they're not surprised. Hell, even I'll say, like, I'm not that surprised. But it's still a shame and it's, it's a shocker because it just, just, just came out. I mean, it's not like this is two weeks after or whatnot. This 
it just freaking lost. And the reason why I'm a little bit shocked because you would think they would learn from their mistakes. Like the Microsoft, they had the disc read, not disc read, I'm sorry, the Red Ring of Death. The Sony had the disc read error. And for the ones who do have an Xbox One and who are having fun with it, you know, hats off to you, you know, props, congratulations, and whatnot. But you will be a damn lie. You will be a damn lie if this does not concern you. I mean, don't even give me that. I mean, it's probably sitting in the back of your head, the back of your mind, thinking like, damn, when I cut my system on, will it work? Am I going to have to worry about these noises, you know, the rattling, the issue, you know, performance issues? And, uh, and true enough, with these systems, it seems like it is very common. It is very common to experience this. But why is it when it's normally with these systems, especially from Microsoft and Sony? You don't really hear about this with tablets, smartphones, etc. But when it's Sony and Microsoft, there's always these crazy bugs that just piss people off. You know, some people wait a long time in line to get theirs. Some people hyped up these consoles for themselves and then they got it and they ended up just being hella disappointed. So, the thing is, so this is what I'm getting at. Do you all feel this is yet another reason why you should wait to pick up these systems? I've already covered the launch titles, you know, in my other video. How I feel the launch titles are just not worth it. Now you have these issues. So a lot of people already told me they're going to wait it out, you know, wait till the bugs get smoothed out and everything. But some people may get, get the short end of the stick. They may wait it out and still get a defective system. That happened with me. Matter of fact, the Red Ring of Death happened with me, I believe, twice. Disc read error happened with me three times. Three times. Not one issue with the Nintendo system, mind you. But this isn't about Nintendo. Uh, this is about Microsoft and why they just... I mean, it, it, it's crazy. It's crazy, and this goes back to my last video. Which one do you think is worse? Getting your system right out of the box, bam, plugging it up and it's not working, or getting into the groove, you know, you had it for a week, maybe a month or two, and then it just chucks out on you. And even with the warranty, notice how I always say uh, a two to three year warranty or one year warranty, even the warranty is limited. Maybe in some cases it can get extended, who knows? But it's up to you if you want to keep putting up with, you know, your system messing up, calling Microsoft, calling Sony, sending it to them, waiting for it to come back, etc. You know, you're missing out on game time. This is the money you put into the system, and now you're just ass out missing out. And I remember people went to some PlayStation 3 because of the uh, Red Ring of Death and vice versa. You know, you rarely, rarely heard issues with the PlayStation 3 regarding this. There were some, but you rarely heard issues. I just think it's all messed up. Some say this can be fixed with an update. You know, but the ironic thing is, I've read the update is what can cause your system to mess up. Either way, it's all messed up. So give me your thoughts, comments, and concerns. This is just yet another reason why I'm going to wait. So if you're going to wait, good beans. If you're not, then Godspeed and just hope <laughs> your system doesn't turn into a brick. It's me, the Elite Ace. Thanks for watching. I'm signing out.